Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And um, I'm excited to continue talking about our big topic this month, um, as I have shared already in my last couple of weeks of May being uh, the self-care month. And of course, as a mom, it's never um, has been more appropriate. And um, to continue our conversation um, this week, I wanted to talk about um, the different levels of self-care and, you know, specifically having many layers of it being, you know, here at Fit to Profit, we talk about, you know, being fit, meaning we have to take care of ourselves on a physical level, mental level, emotional level, and spiritual level. And I get to this week as I reflect to how do I take care of myself? And for me, how do I stay really fulfilled and balanced? Um, And it got me really thinking about, of course, I have been super busy with my work. And what got me really curious in terms of What else did I do to stay balanced is that what I realized is my, as much as I am dedicated to my work and what really helps me stay balanced is to really ensure that I am emotionally connected. And I don't know about you, but my my days um, look kind of like this, right? Like I get up in the morning and everything is about the kids getting my daughter up to school. And then after that is feeding the baby. And then, you know, it was meetings and then also um, launches, meeting with staff, meeting with clients, client sessions and things like that. And before I, I, I know it, it's like nine o'clock at night and having to sometimes go straight into, okay, do I take a shower first? Do I, you know, go to sleep because I need my eight hours? And it's just really uh, fascinating to me sometimes where I could definitely go on for, for at that pace and doing that many things for as long as I can, you know, ever imagine and then will powering through all of it. But lately, because of the the work that I do and I have to get real with myself in terms of how do I take care of myself, and it's really important to really lean into really uh, what I would say creating that connection. And from the emotional standpoint of ensuring that I am also connected to myself and I I can be really busy and doing my things and being autopilot. And what I realized is I have been really, I could be doing a better job of really connecting, you know, to, to, to uh, myself. And um, when, when we are not taking care of ourselves on an emotional level, I don't know about you, but I don't feel as motivated or I'm not happy. I am irritable. Like I, it's easier for me to, um, get off kilter to when it comes to certain things. And, and I would get actually very emotional when things are not, you know, working, you know, out the way that I really want to. And, it's always a good reminder for me when, why am I doing what I'm doing? Is it because I want to prove to others that I am capable for building my business and running a family and all of that? But ultimately, I I really want to go back to really telling myself and then sharing the story with you is that ultimately what we do doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, we can't bring it all with us, all the materials and everything that we have. But what we could do is... It's for me at least. I don't want to be leaving this world with any regrets. Like I have this ultimate fear of not living my life to the fullest, and like it's so transparent for me. This pandemic, like I feel like my time is super limited, and I, I really need to do what I want to do with my life and really being of service and being of contribution and and creating a, a legacy you know, for, for my children. And that means I have to really stand for what it is that, you know, I need. And ultimately what I'm really bringing your attention to this week is connect with yourself on an emotional level. Okay. And I'll talk about a couple of things that you should really focus on when it comes to making sure you emotionally balance is number one, biggest Biggest thing for me, biggest aha, as I really want to hone in on this topic of self-care is loving on 
yourself, loving on yourself. You know, you can't have great relationships with others when you are not yourself or when you are operating and trying to give from an empty cup. And it could be honestly simple as like, are you really sleeping the amount of time that your body needs? And we talked about this all the time. You have heard me before. It could be six hours. It could be eight hours, but really honoring what it is that, you know, that you need. And true story, literally this morning, I, I have a new habit of getting up at 5 a.m. But this morning when the alarm went off at 5 a.m., I shut it off and I went back to bed. And of course, the first thing I woke up in the morning was I felt super guilty. I'm like, you committed yourself to getting up at 5 a.m. and you're not. What is going on with that, right? Like, what about commitment? What about, you know, keeping your word? What about being of example because you teach, you know, keeping your word and staying committed is super important. But guess what? What I come to realize is that there is a fine line between staying in committed action and honoring what it is that you need and take care of yourself. And here is what I am committed to. I am committed to showing up 100% present for my family and my business and my new contract going through a leadership training I want to share with you is that I am committed to being a loving, joyful, and powerful leader. And for me to show up as that person, I need my eight hours of sleep. So what I come to realize is that I was trying to get up at five o'clock before and I didn't succeed. It's because I was trying to prove that, you know, I'm, I'm that great of a person. I have a morning routine. I do X, Y, and Z. But for me, having been able to develop this new habit of getting up at five is because I know how I feel when I'm prepared when I have time to meditate, when I have time for myself and I'm like collected and calm because I have some silence in the morning before, you know, the chaos. And guess what? This morning was the exception and I get to make that choice that I wanted to sleep in because I know my intention is to be loving, joyful, and powerful. And I can't do that if I don't have my eight hours. So you see, when it comes to really showing up, you have to be able to make that choice for where you know that whatever it is that decision you're making is going towards your ultimate goal. And this morning wasn't about the 5 a.m. wake up. It was about me deciding, honoring what it is I need, taking care of myself, making sure my cup is full. So that's why today I'm like slaying the day. Like I, I have meeting back to back. I'm preparing for an online show that's happening this Friday. I just literally get off of a team meeting and I'm still fired up. And I'm like, I, I had a moment, of course, it was like, oh, I have to record this podcast. But guess what? I get to record this podcast. So you have to take the moment to really honor yourself in a way of what it is that whatever it is that you need. I also have a new practice that I invite you to it is that it, what if you look at yourself in the mirror every single morning and you say thank you, right? Because you're doing so much for you. Your body is doing so much for you. And even more, I want to say um, powerful is what if you choose to look at yourself and this is a new practice for me as well that I have developed recently look at yourself in the mirror and say I love you right I love you because if you are not a hundred percent in love with yourself and I'm not saying it from a very superficial self-absorbed narcissistic kind of way if you are not loving yourself, there is no way you can have the capacity to love other people. Okay. Because your, your, your ability to love is that much versus you are expansive and that you love yourself and that you cannot love also love other people too. And it's a practice of you really taking care of yourself, being connected to yourself. Then in turn, I'm going to share the next tip I have for you to really reflect on is that how are you loving on others? But it starts with yourself. It starts with yourself. You have to know what it is you need. 
what it is that you want and then honoring all of it whether it's sleep that you need, it is like the type of food that you want that you're craving for. Do you like seeing fresh flowers in your house? Uh, do, you know, things like that and really honoring what it is that you need. Then in turn there, you can then really start loving people. And that's why you start with yourself and then deepen that connection with yourself and then deepen your connection with others. And on a very personal level, most of the time I can feel really frustrated or burnt out when I have too much to do. So there is a sign that perhaps you're a little hesitant with intimacy if you are super busy. Because I learned it the hard way. What I realized is that I always feel like I have always something to do. So I tend to, you know, schedule my lunch with my best friend for like that window and that only amount of time or doing certain things for myself. Okay, I can only do a half an hour workout and where I need to buffer in time to shower, take a time, whatever it may be. Okay. Know that if you're trying to get busy or trying to fill your calendar, that is your way of avoiding intimacy and connection. And I can tell you that is your straight pathway to burnout. When are you not connected to yourself? Not to say, right? Can you imagine not being connected to your people? meaning your friends, your family, and especially when things for me I, I, perhaps for some of you, I know, I, do you really want to have it all? Do you really have to have it all? And, and yes, I do. I want to have a successful business, but I want to have also a loving family as well, a dynamic family where we, we are connected to each other. And only in that space can I really offer my, operate my business on the peak level. So I invite you to really tap into it this week. Take some time to reflect on, you know, how, how have you been showing up for yourself, right? Are you really asking for the support that you need? Are you giving yourself what it needs, whether, you know, what you need, whether it is, you know, sleep, whether, you know, whatever it may be, do you need a massage? Do you, how do you take care of yourself? It could be literally taking a shower without rushing or being pressure with time guilty you know sometimes i i can be in the shower and and, and rushing and, and not really taking my time it could be little things like that so i want to invite you to this week take your time with yourself see how are you showing up for yourself and then watch to see how you're showing up for others and chances are if you're not showing up for yourself you're not loving yourself you, you don't have what it takes to show up for others, people around you, okay? So that's my, that's my, my, my talk for you this week. It's to really consider connection as the highest level of self-care. And what I mean with that by that is to be connected to yourself, then in turn being connected to your loved ones. So... I appreciate you listening. If you are listening, I invite you to do the work, reflect on it, journal on it. I invite you to share your experience. If anything, I'm here for support. Definitely connect with us. I have also a Facebook group called Authentic Entrepreneurs on Facebook or message us, you know, find my website, www.fittoprofit.com. And I see you next week.